Hello my friends. Um, yeah, we're still at Fort Dunstead. Uh, I have found we have got a room that we haven't yet cleared. It's just around the corner here, there's a door. And it's actually Fort Dunstead. Uh, we've done the prison and we've done the officer's room. And we haven't done the actual Fort Dunstead itself. So we're going to do that in a second. Uh, mod news. There's only one new mod and you can see it here. It's a matter of time. It means I don't have to keep doing this to find out what the time is. I can just hit my... Uh, compass and it comes up with the same information so that should save some time and also less immersion breaking I think uh, I think that's it so are you guys ready and sneak and let's go get these guys in here Is someone there? What was that? yeah there's someone here and there's are you fighting rats sorry skeevers Missed him, son of a... Ah. Thanks guys. Anyone else? Uh, that's a yes. Nope. Thanks Indigo. Nice one. And there's more. Sorry, Inigo. Got carried away. Are we done? Are we clear? Right, what's going on in here? Are they... Hello? Are you a friendly skiver? Well, I will leave him alone then. And who are you? And what have you got that fancy? I'll have you every arrow off you. Mercenary boo... They match my armour. I'm having them now. What about you? Uh, I'll take your gold, not boots. They are worth something. I'll take those. Um, so I can get out of the way. Ski get out of the way as well. Are you Ebony Arrow? Ah, I see you've named the sword after yourself. Very nice. Is that it? Are we all done? Is there one more? There's one guy there, isn't there? Ancient Hard Arrow and a bow stringer. That might come in handy. Right, so let's see what the rest of this place has got to... I can make some more firewood. I think I've got plenty at the moment. Ooh, food. Yes. And more food. And... Ooh, gold. I thought I could smell it. Try not to take the bowl. Books, any use? No. And how about you? No. No, thank you. Barrel. Empty. And more food. Can never have enough food. Where'd that bridge appear to? That was weird. And we get. Messy. Did I see an up? We have an up. Hello, Skeever. Again. And there's more of them. What's with... There's a lot of cheese about. Leather boots, no use to me. A bear trap in front of... That's weird. Dwarven buckler. Well, that's more powerful than the one I'm using. And it's light armor. Ooh, I'll have that. Do you know, I was thinking of actually moving across to uh, using a full size shield. Pushing a true shot. And. Is this a toilet? Oh, lovely. Well, I suppose it is good to have a read in the toilet, but that's a bit. No. Oh, and we have a chest. Anything worth having? There we are. 
I'm gold. How did you know? Um, cabbage, not really. Cats and cabbage don't exactly mix. And where does this go? Bumped up to scaring. Well, sneak. Let's have a look. Uh, turn night eye off. So if you got a bit blinded there, guys. Are we? Some of the somewhere else we haven't been. Commander's close. No, we've been in there, haven't we? Right. So I think we are done. I think Fort Dunstead is as done as I'm going to do it. Well, the stairs down here. There were. So, right, now. Can I pick up my arrow? Right, we were going to. Dim Hollow Crypt, isn't it? Let's have a look at the map. Now, I was having a, a close look earlier on, and I thought that I could go through here and up. And up to Dawnstar maybe, do some trading and empty stuff. And then come back and I thought this path led up, but I don't think it does. Looking at it, it looks like there isn't a path there. It looks like it finishes there and then there's a path from here that goes elsewhere. So it looks like I've got to go up here. Which sort of means that my little trip in here was totally unneeded. Sorry about that, guys. Um, on the plus side... It does mean that anyone that goes through there will not get attacked by bandits. So we're cleaning up Skyrim. Think of it that way. Is it worth picking up? It's not really, is it? I don't think you are either. And we have a new shield. Let's have a look at this shield. A Dwarven Buckler. It's light armor, and it's a lot more powerful than my hide one. My hide one is 44, this is 82. So let's take that one off. Put that one on. Uh, I've got some braces I should have been wearing. Wear those as well. Getting very close to my carry weight. That was the whole idea of me going up to dance. I really let sell some stuff, but I suppose we're going to have to uh, make do with what we can do. Now let's have a look at this now. And the new armor and stuff. Where's the sun? The sun's up there, so let's. It's almost directly above us, isn't it? Let's have a look at this with a weapon out. Yeah, I suppose I can get over that. Dwarven claw, dwarven shield. Mm, well, do. I really need some armor with sleeves, though, don't I? Let's face it, guys. It's a bit. Gold for being bare down, but I have to do what we can. Right, so we're up this way. I don't have the funniest feeling that I'm going to get very, very, very cold. On the plus side, it is middle of the day, so it's not too bad. I guess it goes around here, looks like there's the edge of a path there. Alright, we have been walking now for a good what, 20 seconds and we've not been attacked. Am I the only one that's finding that a bit suspicious? Why are you going backwards? What you do not trip? Okay, okay, okay. It's funny how he feigns concern for me now and yet it wasn't a year ago he shot me in the eye and yeah. We all know what happened then. too quiet. But there's wildlife about, so it can't be. I know it's just up here it splits, doesn't it? Is it? Am I there yet? No, a little bit further. Do we have... Is that giants? Because where there's giants in, there's not a big fire. Go look and see if it's deserted. If it's deserted, we'll get warmed up quick. Sneak up on it a bit. You see, I'm starting to get cold. We have 
definitely got a fire. We've also definitely got giants though. Nope. We're not going over there because they can one shot me with their clubs. I think they can one shot pretty much anybody really, but yeah. I'm a bit delicate still. So back to the path and this will be I'm guessing where the split is, because you can't go straight through that, can you? So North Ish. It's gonna be up through these trees Here somewhere. What way or who? Where? Whoa! Oh, I, I thought it was me hitting it, and obviously Inigo got one of his arrows in. Nice shot, Inigo. Is that it, or are there more? Where's the path gone? We have another wolf. You say any go, you cocky bugger. Ice Wolf, ah, that's one of the dangerous ones, isn't it? And I'm about my carry weight. So the next one I get, I do like the uh, stepping out again. Yep, definitely a full step to work in there. Where's the other one that I killed by myself? It's there. Okay, I'm gonna have to pass some stuff on to you or oh, any go here. And we have. They've been killing people! Who are you? Mr. Dead Body. You're a wood elf. Have you got anything worth having? I'll take your gold. Um, yep, yeah, Selen. Keep. I, I'll call you Selen. I'll call you Kate. Either way, it's going to have to work. I'm getting used to saying it. Um, I want to trade some things with you. It does. Can you carry for me some armor that I don't want anymore? Until I get some bolt knocks, they're of little use, those arrowheads, so you can have all that lot. Okay. You alright with that? You lead. I'll follow. Okay. She has incredibly deep pockets, that lass. Map. I'm off of it. It's over here. I'm guessing if I go up over the top of here, I should be not too far away. Hopefully. But wait, it is getting cold though, judging by my screen. We have a rabbit. And we have a very cold kitty. Come on, where am I supposed to be going? Is it down there? Let's have a look. Yep. It's down here. So I'm in the wrong place, but not too far off, I think, I hope. Do I see ruins? Could that be where I'm going? I also see steps. And I also see a lot of the large cats. Oh dear. I'm not kidding, I see a large cat, am I? Go on, and you got me and the. Good shooting, guys. Although I need a couple of potions. And. Do I see humanity over here? 
As in, has someone got a fire? Didn't. Forgot to loot the cat. Can't leave a kill like that. Yeah. Are they like bad guys to you? I'll tell you they're like bad guys to me because they were shooting a minute ago. Yep, bandits. Whoa, 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 where would you come from? Right, have they got fire up there? I know I should really loot all these bodies, but for the time being, I'm more important about getting warm because I'm getting really cold. I'm going to freeze to death if I don't get a move on. And where there's bandits, there's usually fire, isn't there? Oh yes, lovely. Life-giving fire. Oh dear. The Lord Stone. Never mind the Lord Stone. Give me fire. Back in a few seconds, guy, when I'm warmed up. <laughs> right. And we're back with the heat again. Right, so what's the Lord's doing when it's at home? Uh, those under the sign of the Lord are more resistant to both magicka and physical damage. You may only have one blessing at a time. Do you know that's actually quite tempting to take at the moment? Because I'm taking a lot of physical damage, so for the time being, I'm going to accept that sign. So that adds to our defense bonus, which is nice. And let's go and see what these guys had on them. I'll take your gold. Now, this is one of those things I've noticed from time to time that Kate is starting to use her um, katana again, the one that actually comes with her. However, it is a really underpowered weapon. It is, I think it's uh, 10 or something. It's a really, really low powered weapon. So, obviously, I would like to uh, use something a bit more powerful. Now, I know that in her secret inventory that comes with her, she has another. Ooh, why not? Spring steel short bow. Have you got. I don't know if he's got a short bow or not, so I'll have a word with him in a minute and have a look and see if he needs one. In he go there. Yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing is getting... Next time I have a word with her properly, I will uh, get her... Uh, high damage katana. I think it's only like 17, so it's not too far out of link with the one that she's been using. The axe, it's something like... I think actually the axe is more powerful than the one she's using. So, light roll backpack, no thank you. I should really take those and sell them, but I don't think there's anywhere that will buy them right now. And I like painted shield, I don't think I'll bother. I think I'll stick with the bucklers. So yeah, next time I'm talking to Kate properly, I will uh, get her other katana out. I say she's using the axe at the moment, but I have seen her when I've been playtesting a couple of bits and pieces that she goes for the other katana and it's just that not as powerful as the one that she's got in her backpack so I will uh, get that out and give it to her oh my god don't look over there, don't look over there didn't see that it's still there oh, it's coming down now Cause, oh it's still there <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you a fox or are you a fox, aren't you? I'm guessing this is the way anyway. It looked like, yeah, I come down this path and it goes on there and it's just... Why have I... I'm going to have to... Any go where are you? Go away. I don't want that map marker on all the time. It's most confusing. 
It makes you look like you're on top of where you're supposed to be. When it's you. And that's the thing, wasn't it? I'm going to talk to you about... What, what have you got bow-wise? Um, I need to try some things with you. Pooling our resources. Making sure you've got a short bow. Or a long bow or whatever. You've got, you've got a short bow already, so... You need a long bow. Have I got a spare long bow kicking about? I have... You can have a spring steel one for the time being, just to carry it for me. That was two of them. I think that's it. You have a long bow. Okay, let us get back to Sorry, it. a short bow. You need a long bow. You've got a long bow and a short bow. I know I gave them both to you. And a crossbow. Finally. I'm hungry and thirsty. Right, I think we're getting close to where we're supposed to be going anyway, so I will eat before we go in. Well, that was a sneaky little offset. We're here, guys. This is where the vampires are looking for something. So let's just eat and then we'll go in. What do I fancy? Oh, some bread. A bit of charred skeever. And some water to wash it down with. Right. Sneak mode engaged. In we go, guys. Night I think, again. It's getting a bit dark in here. Let's go a little bit cagey. These vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of the lesson of their hall. So these are the vampires that killed the vigilants. You can well. see one of them Get over there. What is worrying me is what the hell is this it's thing over here behind that waterfall? I think it looks like some out of Ghostbusters. All this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would have hurried up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. I have half a mind to tell Loki of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. Now shut up and keep on watch. Right, so there's two of them on watch. And whatever that thing is. I can only see one. And do I take her? I'm guessing it's a her. Or do I take whatever that is first? Well, there's no one about, so let's take that thing first. If we can. That's one. Are you going to uh, go somewhere I can shoot you? That's two. And how about you? Are you going to stay with your friends? I guess you are. I do like this longbow. So what have we got here? We have a nice waterfall. We have a master vampire. I, didn't kill, I thought I killed those over there. What's this one doing dead? I'm not going to argue, like, but, you know, it's nice to... Ooh. Now, that's worth some money. So, we'll be taking that. About you. You're another vampire. Uh, black burlap cloak. Um, I'll take the lockpicks. I'll take the armor again, because it is... It's not quite as good a value as that is, actually. So I'll take that as well. And the vampire dust. Yes, I'm leaving you half naked, but you're inside a cave, so it doesn't matter too much. It's not like strangers are going to wander across you, is it, really? Uh, what the hell was that thing? It was a death hound. Dog mate. I thought it followed through references. Um, hello, vampire. One that I did kill. Amethyst, yes. I'll take the gold. I'll take the lockpicks. Extended. Conjuration. Disenchantment coming up. And. Oh no. I killed the vigilant. Told him he should have waited for us to catch up with him, you fool. You got anything that's worth keeping? I mean, let's stand there. I'll carry it in your honour. Jinxes. Why do I sound like a member of Scooby-Doo? Sorry, that's wrong. Um, I'll give it to Kate, she might like it. 
Speaking of the devil. Yes. Ah, now you're here. Look, well, I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, I want to trade some things with you. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? It does. I'm going to give you. Well, I'll take the thing off you first. I'll take that off you first. And I'll give you the Iron Warhammer of Velma. Yeah? Then I want to go back and I want to talk to you. So, Selene. Can I show me your extra inventory? Yes. Good. Going to handbag three, because that's where it is. And I will take your Selene's Onihim Katana. That does damage 18. And I will put your other one in there. Which is, if you look, one does 7, one does 18. So it's not too much out of uh, kilter. Uh, if you imagine my Dwarven Claw does 30. So yeah, it's it's not overpowered really. It just It's a very nice looking weapon. So I'd rather give, rather give it back than... Uh, and now I'll put this back into your normal... What do you want me Inventory. It's there you go. <laughs> and you're using it straight away, that's very nice of you. I do like that weapon on you. Another vampire. Uh vampire armor again. And obviously the amethyst and the gold. We have a gate and I can't open that here. There's no chains hanging about, is there? Just in you go. So then I see another door over there. Doing books. I would say stop sneaking, but I can't risk it. Oh, night eyes getting a bit bright again. But I think we're going in the dark again, so I won't turn it off. Um, it's a little bit on the dark side. Burning steel sword. Target takes ten. Um, guess where this is going again? Here you go, Kit. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. Let's give you some of this stuff that I've got. My inventory, not yours. What was it? Iron sword. What was it? You can have that as well, actually. Burning steel sword, there you go. I'd better get going. Okay. And that just leads back to where we were. Oh, urn. Obviously. I'll take all that and a chest. I'll take all that as well. Oh, and extra potions are always helpful. Chain. Does this open that then? That does. See, there is a reason for coming in here. Well, this bit of it, anyway. With the torch. Did you have to roll into me and he go? I don't know if you can turn the night eye off or not. I think it's going to be get dark. I think it's just... There's a patch of daylight there, isn't there? Right. On and deeper. Past all the naked vampires. Restore health, yes. Do I have to get wet? Can I jump over this? I can. Can I? Oh, yes. So we have a vampire. Or something. I'm guessing if it's in here, it's going to be deadly. And dead. Well, probably was dead already. What's behind me? A droga. No, thank you. But I'll have a look in the chest that's next to you. Scroll of dread zombie and some gold. Yes, well, can't go wrong with that. So I have a dead body to pick up. 
and some skeletons coming from, from the ground. That's not good. Did I miss? Be careful. Dragonborn, what are you doing? Uh, can I kill these skeletons? Join in if you want. Where'd you go? Guessing you just killed someone. Dead? Where did it go? It came down these stairs. Didn't it? It did. Uh, I'll take your arrows. But you can keep the ball. Uh, don't want that. I said I don't want that. Go away. I thought I saw another actual one. I'm almost mistaken. So are these the burials that they came out of. And where's that vampire? There you are. Thought I'd kill one. Uh, gold, thank you very, very much. Yes, I'll take the armor. That is a nice color, that red armor. I won't walk over the graves of dead people. So are we supposed to be going up and round or something? These headstones are weird. Bit thoughtless, Indigo. Uh, are these. Why do they look like the, uh, the giant sign things? Oh, the giant daub all over the rocks nearby. Right, so I'm guessing that this is the lever that operates these. Has everyone killed all the Druga? I'm not arguing, you know, I'm quite willing to let people kill Draugr, as long as they don't try and kill me, that's the important bit. What have we got? We have Draugr fighting vampires. Let's see who wins and kill whoever survives. She moved! Get out, get back round that corner, you. More Draugr. I say we play let's play out. Um Yeah, why not? Don't pick on me, just stand smallest. I know you're on my side, but get out of the way. Killing this vampire, if I let me. Thank you. And what you got? I know you had a claw. Is it a nice one? Oh, it's just a steel one. Uh, I'll take your dust. I'll take your ring. Heavy armor. No good to me. Your lockpick is, though. And your amethyst and your gold, obviously. Other than that, you can keep it. Thanks a lot for your time. Who else was in here? Let's kill, let's just check on these dead bodies. If I can find them. Wasn't there a drug she was fighting? Where's the drug? Ah, oh, there it is. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, what's this thing? Activate chain. This has trap written all over it, doesn't it? It really does. Cure poison, mana magica, and then trap now. Hmm, weird. We have more potions. I just can't reach them. Can I blow them off? Oof! One of them moved. Where'd he go? It's there. Get out of the way. Cure disease. What about, can I... Boost! You're not going to roll over to me, are you? No. You did. Yep. 
Right, so that's... That one goes down. Let's have a look see if anyone will go, go along. If there's anything else to steal from. That one goes along. This also has traps written all over it. It really does. It's ridiculous. Master. Ah, right. It's around here somewhere. So it's over there, because it's supposed to start within 25 degree of where it's supposed to be. I'm just going to run out of lockpicks before I run out of lock. Come on, where are you? Yes, I know there are mods that let you do this, but I'd rather do it the old fashioned way. I'm just that kind of person. A couple more lockpicks and I'm giving up on this. Nope, forget it. I've had enough. You beat me now. Anything else over these side bits that's worth having? No, right. What about around here? Is there another one? Or are we all done? That's back where we came, isn't it? So there's just that down. Yeah, it's just this one to go. Wheel. Was that on the game or was that outside? Well, I see somebody sat on a stone. And I see a lot of undead rising. Let's see if we can get rid of that vampire first. Uh, dying by the looks of it. Yeah, you take care of the vampire, I'll take care of the skellies. Thanks, guys. Right, let's have a look and see what these skeletons have got. If there's anything worth having. Probably not. No. Yep. So what about you, vampire chops? You got out? Ancient odd arrow. So I did hit you. I don't like those pigs. They scare me. Got more vampire armor. And I think you're done. It's up here then. Well... So far I've been lucky, so I'm just going to uh, quickly, uh... yep. You can't guarantee on my luck lasting all this time. I can't go that one. Hello, Dark. Is there someone up there? Cobweb. Someone there. Dragon that's all Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what's taking me? Why is killing me? Yes, I am hurt, and I'm out of potions. The hell? Not yourself. Need my potions. Now you tie back on. 
Right, so, use the longbow, I think. Up here, wasn't it? There was a vampire lady around the corner. And potion of healing, thank you. Um, is that on my hotkeys? Potions. Potion of true shot. 26% more damage. I know that there's one hidden here, look. Hello. Better. Who's there? Come on. Oh. Let's see what you've made up. To do. Depressing. Be careful. Oh. You can't do this. Hey, you take care of the dogs, I'll take care of the vampire, I'll try to. Better. Uh, I'll take it for a little bit longer, but I'm getting a bit to the point where I'm going to not be able to carry much more, guys. Oh, it's typical. So I'm getting to the point where I can't carry things, and uh, I carry on looting. I'll leave it this time. Right, she was in here. Is there anything on here? Hello? Yes? Obviously. How about that? All empty now, right. Get out of the way, Kate. Kate, uh -huh. get out of the way, thank you. So I'm guessing we're going this way. Or this way. Maybe even this way. You were a spider, weren't you? Oh, thank you. Oh, more things to loot. Get out of the way, Inigo. About this way. Lots of amethyst, I know this. So it's got to be this way then. And that way. Oh, there's another spider. When I saw the, the saliva moving down the lips, I thought it was alive. That's not helpful. Are you trapped in are you? Heroic Stormcloak Armour. It's, it's nice, but it's just not worth it. And I don't want to be labeled as a Stormcloak. I'm not getting involved in that war. Having a civil war while there's dragons about is a bit stupid, don't you think? fight going on. Can I shoot through here? Can't, can I? No. Shoot the vampire. And the spider cat come back. Yay. Master Vampire, what have you got? Uh, Orkish Sword, of no use to us lot, we're all above that now. Vampire Armour, I think I've got enough of that stuff. I think I've got enough now. As in, enough to sell anyway. You were a big bugger. I think we've got enough frostbite venom we're going on with as well. I won't bother. Right. Maybe it's in here what the things the vampire's looking for. How 
the hell are those things? Vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. Are you Where sure that people? was wise, Lokiel? He still might have told us something. You dirty leech! Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see vampires. You've gone invisible, you cheeky bugger. Where are you now? You've gone somewhere. There you are! I thought you had me then, mate. I did. Right, let's see what he's got. Ring mail armor. It's just not very good. Yeah, slight step out of character here. This was the armor I was going to give Kate when I first met her. Um, it's on the executioner in the beginning of the game. The guy that's going to cut your head off. I was going to give him that, give Kate that, but I decided against it and gave her the highwayman stuff instead. And I think it worked better on her. I think that would have looked a bit too uh, much. Got some night. Oh, I have got night eye on. I thought night eye was off. God, it is dark in here. Guess in the dark, I have to put a torch. As a matter of fact, let's put a torch on. Even with night eye, I still need a torch. It's ridiculous. What's in here? Elven armor of spirit and mind. Now it's 12 base to stamina magic and base magic to stamina. Uh, okay. So it's coughing. Another coffin in search now? Anything else? Where's the other dead bodies? That one. Ancient Nod Arrow, so I can say I got that one. I think I'm alright with everything else that they've got. And the Thrall. Lockpick. Leather armor of no use to me. Is that it? Is everyone dead? Well, more dead than they were originally. Where's my friend Kate? She's there. Right, let's go see what's going on over here then. Is that another vigilant? The one they were talking to? Adavald. Psychalities of werewolves. Oh, I should give that to... Give that to the guys in the companion and see if it how true it is. You feel strange as the sun sets. Have I got Where is it? Curran. I have Sigurus found Bamparis. Progress to a vampire. Can I use cure disease to get rid of that? I think I can car. Um potions. Cure Disease Potion of Cure Disease. Am I now cured? Yep. 
Whew. Thought I'd become a vampire for a second then. Uh, read Dim Hollow Crypt. No. Yeah, read it. Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt, Volume 3, as written by Adavald. Or Adalvald, whatever it is. Divines be praised. Here at last is the breakthrough I have been seeking. All the dangers I have escaped, the traps I have eluded, and the foul draugr I have avoided have brought me at last to this. In my previous volume of notes... Where were they? I haven't seen them. In my previous volume of notes and observations regarding Dim Hollow Crypt's possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history, I wrote of a great chamber, far larger than anything else I'd yet seen here in the crypt. Alas, a few wandering draugr forced me to retreat to the earlier passage of the crypt, thus depriving me of an opportunity to, to study this huge cavern. Well, praise be to Stendar, as, for as I write this, I have just spent nearly a full day exploring that very cavern. It was a risk that proved more than worth it, because what I have found in that chamber nearly defies description. Central to this huge cavern is an island of stone in a subterranean lake. Upon this island is something I can only describe as an elaborate ceremonial construction surrounded by stone columns linked by arches. There is no mistaking the stark contrast in architecture here. No ancient nods made this stonework. Here, too, were more of the gargoyle statues that I first glimpsed in the earlier passageways. Yeah, those things upstairs that were scary. There is no drug or burial site in Skyrim that contains these statues save Dim Hollow Crypt. Indeed, I am now certain that the strange construct in this main chamber was built long after the crypt and by a wholly different masters. There, these must be the same builders who placed the gargoyles throughout the crypt, perhaps to frighten away the curious. All signs seem to indicate that the masons who crafted these strange arches were servants of some ancient masters who favoured necromancy or vampirism. The style and craftsmanship in the stonework are not only distinct in terms of design, seeming to speak of an entirely different culture than that of the old Nord peoples, but also in skill with which they were fashioned. The cutting and shaping of the stone, for example, suggests more, more sophisticated tools than the crypt's original architects would have possessed. Although I feel a sense of exhilaration that my theories have all been confirmed beyond my shadow of doubt, I am also disappointed at the lack of answers. How long ago were these new features added to the crypt, and by whom, and for what purpose? On one point I have no doubts. I must return to the Hall of the Vigilant and share my findings with the brothers and sisters. When they see what I have discovered with their own eyes, they will no longer scoff at my theories or mock my endeavours. And when, this, when that is done, I will return to my work, for now Dim Hollow Crypt might be a mystery, but by Stendor, I will see that mystery solved. I'm afraid you won't, matey boy. Eh dear. Right, so let's see what he was looking at. Well, these look like archways, don't they, with columns and skeletons. And what are you? Use button. Bloody hell! Alright, what's going on? Who injected me with hallucinogenics? What the hell's going on? Pretty colour. The heck? Push. Where to push it to? Seem to be right. Let's push that one to the end of that thing there. Is it a shield or something? Are these the edges of where it's going to be? No. 
go the other way. Alright, so that one's lit. Maybe we should ready our weapons. So you're not in the right place then. I'll let you ready weapons, I'll uh, push these things around. Now you're lit. Alright, so that one's in the right place, that one's in the right place, that one's in the right place. Are you going that way as well? Yep. So, we've got out, in, in, out. Do you go in or do you go out? I'm guessing you go in. Out of the way, in you go. I did say out of the way. Alright, something's happening. Whoa. Just how I feel. Do you have any skooma? I think we're going to need it. What the hell is this? Activate Storm Monolith. For only from this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Now I'm guessing. Where is. Who sent you here? I'm guessing, looking at your eyes, you're a vampire. Um, who were you expecting? I was expecting someone. like me, at least. Uh, we've just killed some. Uh, we okay? Uh, what do you mean, like you? Explain yourself, yes. Uh, yes, I know. You're a vampire. I can tell. A vampire. Uh, the darn guard would want McGrea Runclaw to tell you, kill you, to tell you. No. Um, why were you locked away like this? Is it is a little odd to say the least. Yeah, I'm not going to say I'm going to kill you. Let's question That's you first. Complicated, and I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. Look, I've just saved you from whatever the hell that was. Sorry. Help me get back to my family's home. Um, where do you need to go exactly? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Uh, I would like to say good to meet you, but... You're a vampire. And I'm guessing your vampire uh, family is full of vampires. And you want me, who just killed a lot of vampires, to take you back to your vampire family. Do you see my slight hesitation in this matter? Um, why were you locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you, if that's all right. Were you I'm a sorry, naughty girl and locked away for being naughty? It's a bit like the naughty step, but on a massive scale. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Um, where is your it's home? It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but... Depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. So, it depended on who's home. Do you have family problems? Have you got a strange uncle we need to talk about? Uh, why would you not be safe there? Yeah, that's what Let's I just, just said. Let's say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Ah, right, it's your parents. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. So you're not a daddy's girl then? Okay. Um, how long have you been in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. Well, I know that feeling. I've got at least a year missing. Who is Skyrim's High King? Um... Yeah, that's actually a matter for debate. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Yeah, sounds that's about the right. didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? Uh, the Empire supports SLF and there are many Skyrim loyal to Ulfric Stormcloak. Empire? What? What Empire? Your dubbing's off, love. Uh, the Empire from Cyrodiil. Yes? 
Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? Yes, it has been for a long time. gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Um, is that an Elder Scroll on your back? Or is it some weird rolling pin weapon? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Okay, you can keep it. Why do you have one, though? It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Um, any idea how we get out Your of here? This is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Yeah, um, thing you were saying that as well. The the vigilant of Stendar, your fellow vampires killed, were saying that this looked different to the Draugr ruins that are further up. So, are you are you now coming with me? How are we now a four piece? Does the air feel heavy down here? I'm a little hey dear. Just be from waking up. Okay, looks like we've got more company. Don't be like that. 